What is up guys, welcome back to another video. As I mentioned in my last video, where I went to the gym back for the first time uh, since lockdown has kind of ended, uh, I said I was going to do a complete video about the book that I'm about to go on. So that's what I'm going to do. This is uh, a video I'm going to explain a little bit about um, what bulking is, uh, and then my plan for the next few months. So I have about four months until my next contract uh, starts. The contract is Chicago, I've done another video about that, you can go back and have a look at it. I'm going to do a mini bulk because usually in, in like the bodybuilding industry a bulk can last between like four to six months followed by a cut which is usually a few more months. I don't have that kind of time so it's going to be a, a shorter one, it's going to be three months of a bulk. This is going to be my first proper proper one where everything is tracked uh, so I'm going to explain to you everything about what my plan involves and then maybe give you some advice about whether you want to do it in the future as well and how you can implement that. Okay so firstly what is bulking? If you've joined this video you probably clicked on it because uh, you don't know what it is so that's what I'm going to explain to you. I actually did an Instagram post about this earlier today um, I said that uh, bulking is the process of putting on muscle size and strength fast through being in a calorie surplus essentially meaning that eating more over an extended period of time will give your muscles more fuel and energy to repair and build the muscle you're damaging in the gym. Now when it comes to bulking you've probably heard the terms clean and dirty. They're the two very different styles of it. Dirty bulking can be great if you're trying to put on a lot of size in a very short amount of time. Uh, they, uh, bodybuilders that take this approach do the see it eat it kind of approach which means they don't track their calories, they will just eat as much as they can every single day. Whatever it is, donuts, sugar, chocolate, burgers, McDonald's, everything. They'll just have an excess of calories that they're not actually tracking. You know, it can put on the, the muscle size that you are wanting in a short period of time. However, it also has drawbacks. Obviously, it's not great for gut health at all. You can end up putting way too much fat on, uh, so you can't have an extended period of a bulk, um, meaning you would have to go on a cut before you've got like the muscle size that you wanted because you've got way too much fat on you. Versus a clean bulk, a clean bulk usually takes a little bit longer to build because you're eating uh, a little bit less than you would on a dirty bulk. However, it is a lot better in the long run for your gut health and it means that you can have an extended period of a bulk because you're not putting on as much fat uh, that goes with the muscle. So that's kind of what this is. It's gonna be a little bit of a mixture but more leaning towards the clean part of the bulk for me. I'm gonna explain the exercise program. Okay, so first up we have the exercise portion of the program. Now there is three phases to the bulk that I'm going to do. They're each going to be four weeks, um, so 12 weeks in total. Uh, the gym only opened last week, so I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do, uh, for the first four weeks, I'm going to do a four-day split routine. Uh, so it's going to be push, pull, legs, and then strength. Uh, and then the next eight weeks, or phase two and three, is going to be a five-day split, which is going to be back and biceps, chest and triceps, legs, strength, and then shoulders and arms. Obviously, hypertrophy is going to be play a massive part, massive role in my workouts uh, three to four times a week. I'm going to be doing that. So that's going to be uh, around sets of four uh, and like 12 reps around that rep range. Uh, and then strength, obviously I'm training once a week, which requires uh, a lot more high volume, low repetitions. So they're going to be about uh, three round, uh, three sets I'm going to be doing of uh, strength exercises um, around the six rep range because um, it's going to time me out. I'll obviously have longer rest periods for those days as well. Um, I'm going to be focusing on progressive overload. That's going to be really important. Uh, obviously, I want to build my strength. I want to build my muscle size, and that's only going to happen if I'm increasing the weight, if I'm increasing the reps that I do as I get stronger and as it goes on. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is every Monday, I'm going to be recording everything. Uh, it's going to be my weight on the scales, uh, my arm size, so that I, I'm going to measure it in inches. Same with my quads and my chest. It's really important to do this so that you can uh, you can see if you're on the right track over the weeks. I'm also going to uh, record my weight and reps and rest time in the gym so that I can really make sure I am progressively overloading uh, and also can help you feel really accomplished seeing on paper or whether it's on your your notes on your phone how well you're, you're getting if you lift lifted um, a heavier weight this week or you lifted more reps of the same weight than last week. So onto equipment, I don't have any crazy equipment. It's stuff that I've kind of accumulated over a couple of years. Uh, I've got my knee pads, which would be great for my squats. Um, I have liquid chalk, which I always, it's great for grip, uh, whatever I'm doing. Um, belt, belt is just a lot of support. However, I'm probably going to need to adjust it because over time uh, I'm going to be getting a little bit fatter. So it's probably not going to fit me straight away. Uh, then I've got my wrist wraps, also great for 
anything, like just to protect the joints and the uh, bones in the wrist. Uh, lifting straps, especially for my deadlifts, uh, and then elbow sleeves, which uh, my girlfriend is currently sending to me. Um, okay, onto the diet portion of the program. Um, so, my total daily energy expenditure, my TD, is 2,500 calories or around that range uh, on a non-exercise day. So obviously when I do exercise, it usually goes up to 3,000 or more than that. Um, so what I will be eating is 3,500. I currently stay around 2,000, so this is an extra 1,500 calories. Um, it may be a bit lower after the first week. I'm gonna see if that um, is too much. I'm hoping to gain about half a pound per week. So if I find that after one or two weeks that is putting on too much weight too quickly, then I will like uh, lower it by a couple hundred calories. Uh, or again, if, if I'm not gaining any weight and I'm burning because I've got a fast metabolism, uh, burning too many calories, then I'll, I'll, I'll up it a little bit to maybe like 3,700 or 800. I'm also aiming for about 200 grams of protein a day. This is really, really important. If I do not have enough protein in a day, doesn't matter how much I do in the gym or even how much rubbish I eat, it's still not gonna, it's not gonna build because protein is the main thing that builds the muscle. So you really, really need to have it. So I'm gonna get 200 grams of protein per day. I'm not too worried about the other macro split that'll kind of happen as it happens. The idea is, you know, you want to reduce your refined sugar, your, your sweets and your chocolate. So I'm still gonna eat the exact same amount of chocolate and, uh, and crisps as I already do now. Just like alcohol, it can uh, lead to inflammation in the body, which you can gain excess weight and can actually inhibit that muscle growth and that's not what you want. Uh, I'm going to be having about four meals per day and about two or three snacks as well. It's also really important, I will state, is to record your calories, at least for the, uh, you know, for a while at the beginning. I'm definitely going to be recording my calories so that I know exactly how much I've eaten so I don't go over or under and I'm getting the right amount of protein. With that being said, it's important to know what kind of foods you need to eat in the week. All right, so it's really important you're getting high protein sources. So you want stuff like uh, salmon, chicken, tuna, beef, eggs, milk, ham, bacon, cheese, lots of different kinds of beans, chickpeas, nuts, yogurt, pasta, rice, avocado, oats, lots of veg and obviously lots of fruit as well. All right, now moving on to supplements. Obviously, this is up to you when you're doing a bulk or planning a bulk. You don't have to have any of these. Um, some of these can be helpful, some of these you don't need. It's just for more experienced people. Um, so obviously, we've got protein first. We've got whey, whey protein, casein, and clear whey. I'll be having about three a day. I'll be having one in the morning, first thing when I wake up, one post-workout, and then one before bed. Um, if I don't do a workout, then I won't be having the post-workout one, so it'll just be two a day. Um, but I've still got lots of other ways of getting my protein in. Then we have BCA. Again, not compulsory. Uh, I just find they're great. Uh, creatine monohydrate is an absolute winner. Like, you, I definitely recommend you to get some creatine. Uh, we've got some pre-workout. This is only going to be used on the strength days. It's not going to be regular. My strength days, obviously, I'm going for like PRs and heavy weights, so it's important that I have um, a lot of energy uh, to be able to lift. Um, protein bars, I'll be probably having about one protein a day, so I've got like a plethora of different kind of protein bars, which is great. Uh, I'll have super greens in the morning, um, along with my uh, omega-3, alpha men, and zinc and magnesium for uh, my immune system health. Uh, and then we have rolled oats as well, which isn't a supplement, but it's useful and it's great for a breakfast when you mix it with other stuff. All right, moving on to the mental effects. So obviously I am not fully versed on how this is gonna affect me mentally. However, I am very well aware of how I don't like to see uh, extra weight on my body. Um, so I'm gonna very much focus on the end result that I want and everything that I'm doing in the meantime is to get there. Uh, I often feel very discouraged when I see extra weight in my body, I like to look ripped, but there's obviously can't kind of happen if I'm doing a bulk and wanting to get stronger in a fast period of time, which means I'm going to have to put on a little bit of weight as well. So I'm going to have to become comfortable with that. But again, focusing on the end result is really going to help me. Making records of the weight I'm lifting and the reps that I'm using as well is really going to help because it will get me through knowing that it's actually working. I am getting stronger and I am getting bigger. Uh, and as my girlfriend likes to say, it's her favorite quote, this too shall pass. So it is temporary. You're gonna to get to where you want to be before you then do your cut and you'll get rid of that extra fat. All right, so the main points of advice that I would give you if you are considering doing a bulk yourself. One, research and create a training plan based on you. You can't copy anybody else's because everybody has a different body, everybody has a different BMR, everybody has a different energy expenditure. Some people like certain exercises, some people can only work out a certain amount of days a week. So 
there is no one size fits all. I suggest that you do your research, have a look around, figure out what your numbers are, and then put a program together for yourself that you know you're gonna to stick to uh, that's gonna benefit you the most. Number two, keep training consistent. Your body thrives with consistency, uh, and all you're gonna be doing each week is you know, progressively overloading. So you're doing like the similar exercise, the thing, working the similar motions and movements of each muscle. You're just going to be upping the weight, upping the reps. So it needs that consistency. Your body's not gonna improve if you do this exercise for this part one week and then do a different part and a different exercise next week because it will adapt to the first exercise. But then if you don't do it again, it's not gonna get any stronger and it's gonna go back to as weak as it was before it did it. So it's important to do the same thing and uh, just change it up so that you keep getting stronger. Number three, keep calories consistent, but play around with the amount. If you find that you're putting on too much weight at first, uh, then you can drop your calories, uh, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, if you're not putting on enough, if you're quite a hard gainer, then you can up your calories, uh, maybe like a couple hundred every day to find out uh, what's gonna be best for you. Number four, get plenty of protein. This entire system, this whole process, this program isn't going to work if you do not get enough protein. It is essential in muscle building, get enough protein. Number five, get plenty of water. You absolutely need your water as well. That's gonna be so helpful. Number six, focus on the end result. That's gonna get through you, you through the mental side of it as well. Uh, and also tracking helps with that. Number seven, get enough rest days. You really honestly have no idea how important rest is. Rest is actually when the muscle grows. You damage your muscles in the gym, and then when you rest, they recover and they grow, so you don't get bigger. It's not like you work out, the more you work out, the stronger you're gonna get. No, that's not actually true, which is why I'm gonna be doing four days and have three full days of rest for the first four weeks. You can do a solid hour for four days a week and absolutely get the uh, results that you want. Number eight, get at least eight hours of sleep every night. You need Your muscles need that time to recover. It is so important. Uh, number nine, keep refined sugars to a minimum. Spend your calories on protein-rich food and good fats. That's very important as well. And then finally, number 10, record everything. So you always know that you're getting better. You've got your weight. You can see, you can track how well you're doing. That way you can adjust where you need to. If you have no idea where you are from when you started, then it's just, it's gonna mess with your head. You're not gonna be able to continue. You don't know if you've gotten better or you've gotten worse and all you'll see is the weight gain. So it's really important to track everything that you do. In summary, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Go follow my two Instagram accounts, uh, JoelBenjamin10 and JBFitness underscore PT. Uh, I'm gonna be updating each week about my, my physique and my measurements and everything. Uh, so if you wanna keep updated on how this is going, then go follow those profiles. Uh, if you want to see my program, then message me on Instagram and I'll be happy to send you a link to it or a copy of it. Uh, do not copy my program, not in a way of like, it's my program, I don't care about that. It's the fact that it's not gonna be suitable for you. Like regardless, even if you're similar to me, you need to make your own program because it, it's gonna have the best effect if it's written for your needs. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know your thoughts in the comments of what kind of things you would like to see. Thanks for joining, I'll catch you in the next one.